Another day, another off-camera raid. Welcome back to Project Zomboid, everybody. As you can tell, I have been productive and rather fruitful. Um, got a fair few items in here. This is what I've managed to attain whilst going out and about into the city, killing Zeds, etc, etc. I've hit up most of the office spaces and we've got an awful, awful lot of batteries. We've got three full packs and nine separate medium ones, which is just absolutely outstanding. Um, I was well over the moon with it, but they've kind of been overshadowed by the fact that we've now got three augers. <laughs> so today we can actually have a look at making a coal mine, making an iron mine, and making a a full um, water tower, which would be rather interesting, I think. Um, but to start with, I do want to do a little bit of... Oh, hello. Have I just pressed the light switch? Where's the light switch? Hello? Light switch? Oh, there we go. Uh, I do want to do a little bit of metal detecting before I do anything else. Oh, we've also got some other medium batteries here as well. Huh, interesting. Um, also as well, the character looks strange again. We've got new leggings. We've got a different top because I hit up a clothing store as well on the way. I saw that there was only like two Zs in there, so I ran in. And I was lucky to find diamond pattern sweater. So we've got one of those now, which is fantastic. And I've made the reinforced linen pants. They are absolutely outstanding. They're better than the firefighter leggings. They are just just crazy. They're 30% bite and 50% scratch. So very, very good. And then obviously the, the bonuses from tailoring on top, which I have been training. And we have hit level 6, but I'm kind of holding off now because I don't have a skill book. I'm going to wait and see if I can get one of those to make it a little bit easier. But anyway, let's uh, let's insert a battery into one of those. There we go. And search for metals. Blah, 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 blah. Probably nothing really useful. No, doesn't look that way. We've got some tongs, though. That's pretty cool. In fact, let me... Let me grab all the batteries. I'm going to move them out the way of all this stuff over here because there is a little bit too much around here. Right. Let's try and grab all of you, please. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go out towards our hunting area because at least then we can delete the stuff by the bin and it's not as cluttered around here, which is nice. Okay. So dead small battery, dead medium battery, medical box. I don't even know if we need that. Some 9mm rounds, yeah, some tongs, wrench, magnetite, very cool, okay. Insert battery, search for metals, blah 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 blah, iron ingot, very nice, paper clip, no, wire, yeah, magnetite, yeah, jack saw, tire pump, all very nice things, but not really super duper. Uh, insert battery again, I'm going to open the health window because... Don't want to get crushed to death. Um, oh, we got an auger. Right. Wonderful. So there's another one. We've got a needle and a wrench. We'll keep that. Plastic pipe. Normal battery. Some shotgun shells. Fantastic. Fantastic. So now we've got an extra auger. We could probably make a, a storage cellar. That won't be a bad idea. Some tongs. Tin can. We don't want you. Magnetite. Steel pipe. Nometer. Bottle opener, don't think we need you. Some 30, uh, 0.308s. Very nice. Very, very nice. This is why searching for metal is so good. Because you just get an assortment of stuff. And obviously, once we get to the point where we can do this uh, perpetually, you know, just by having water supply is going to be absolutely fantastic. I can't wait for it. It's one of my favourite things. I love, I love all the metal working on it. I just hate the fact that you get burnt to death. So, also as well, off camera, I I made another character. Yeah, you're probably thinking, why, why are you making another character? And the point is, just in case things go awry for us, I can quickly 
uh, swap to another character. So I'm hoping to chop and change between the two characters because the, the other character that I've made, I have chosen to make it a, a metal worker. So that gives it basically um, resistances whilst doing metals and this, that and the other. So it gives you 30 fire resistance. So I believe you get less chance of being burnt. I could be wrong. But as far as I'm aware, that is that is how it goes about. But anyway, let's continue searching our metals. We've finally got a dog whistle. Wonderful. We always want dog whistles. Lots of doggos. Great fun doggos. Right. Remove battery. Insert another. We would like more augers. That is the main thing. So dead batteries go down. Metal file don't need. Valve. Magnetite, another auger, a box cutter, yeah, very nice. Jackknife, you can go in there, not so bothered. So that's two augers so far. Definitely need more, definitely need more. Anything else? Spare engine parts, not interested. Needle, we've got hundreds. Jackknife, survival axe, not bothered. Lots of valves, lots of magnetite, lots of nails. Very, very cool. It is just basically loot gamble this isn't it right insert battery search for metal blah 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 shotgun shells yeah small battery another dead medium battery uh glass cutter i think we'll keep that because i don't think we have a spare one of those we could have i may be wrong i forget what we actually have and what we don't have right Search for metal. Still a fair few more to go. Another auger. Wow. Screwdriver tongs. Auger. Door hinge. Metal sheet. Dog whistle. Yeah, that's two dog whistles. Three augers now, isn't it? Yeah, three augers. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Right, search all of those again. Close pin. Another auger. What's going on? Steel mace. Can't recycle that, sadly. Uh, watering can. Can we... Yeah, we can recycle it. Right, we'll keep that. That turns into iron as well. Ooh, very nice. Yes, definitely keep hold of that. Right, I'll have to bear that one in mind because I usually just throw them away. I didn't realise you could actually straight turn them into iron. Hmm, okay, right. Well, saying that, that's not really going to be an issue for us anymore because we have enough augers to make the rest of the things. So I might as well get rid of all the tools and stuff right but for now we'll do this medical boxes again i don't think we need any more of those we have a fair few move the battery on the floor insert another one and search for metal circular saw blade more clothes pins chain yep 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 all on the floor then this lot put it in the bin into the bin delete all of you and into the bin, delete all of you. Right, so what have we got on the floor? We've got some shears. We don't need shears. Chicken wire, I don't think... Whoa, actually. Huh. What do we need the circular saw blade for? Recycle steel or make a saw blade axe? That's it? Really? Right, well, you can go in the bin. Batteries, yeah, we'll keep valve. Yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Clothes pins, definitely. Augers, obviously want those. And... Then we've got an assortment of tools, which I think I'm probably just going to junk these. There's not really much point recycling them, so get those deleted. And where are we? Jacks, tire pumps. Get those deleted. Right, so let's pick up that final auger. Nope, won't let us. We will drop these. Yep. Speeding up time. Wrong again. Uh, you won't go in there. You won't go in there. And I can't pick you up. And it says I'm 32 on the weight. Oh, right. Okay. Whatever. Right. Let's search for doggos. Uh, we've got a German Shepherd. Hey. We've got a Boxer. And we've got a Beagle. Awesome. Right. Okay. So. Female German Shepherd. Hmm. Don't even know what to call it. Don't know what to call it. But there we go. Three doggos. Three doggos. Wonderful. Now, did that pull it out of my backpack or did it pull it out of the hunting blind? No, it pulled it out of my backpack. Good. 
Good, good, good. Right. Bob, you in there? Like so. We'll leave this mess out here. Like I say, it all needs sorting. There's a lot to sort and a lot to prat around with. I'm slowly but surely getting to the point now where I'm getting some sort of idea of how I'm going to organise all this because, like I say, everything's everywhere at the minute and we we really need to get some of this stuff sorted but yeah that's a bit of loot gambling there's a bit more to do there's gem coin textbook because i actually went back to the bookstore and in the entirety of the bookstore that was the only book we hadn't read so did that and on the way i hit all the officers up got 20 books so 20 book gambles to do Hopefully we can get Oceanography and Bird Field Guide. They would be very, very nice. Then I've got five sealed envelopes. Now these are the big, big ones. So firstly, what I want to do is I want to read this gem cutting textbook. And we're going to take a walk down towards where the, the books are being stored. So I don't have to go over there with something that may weigh more. I don't know if it will or not. By the way, let's head over here. Stand here, and we've read that now, so that can go into our pallet truck of books. And we want to remove all 20 of the book covers. And we've got biology, book of poetry, fairy tales, apiculture, biodiesel, bone working, two chemistry books, a gardening book, hunting textbook, industrial mechanics, iron working, mammal field guide, two medicals rocketry two tree field guides and an electric uh, electrician volume one well yep that was pointless okay so all we got was a little bit of paper out of one of them mm. we we really need that bird field guide honestly that is that's holding us back Quite a lot. Same with the oceanography. I, I thought, oh yeah, you don't really need that. Turns out you need it to make ponds. Like build ponds to fish in and stuff like that. So that's why our fishing skill is level zero. With zero experience because we haven't got the oceanography. That's the only thing we need now because we've got fish field guide. So that's that's that, isn't it? Um, right. Okay. So next one is we use letter opener letter opener on these sealed envelopes it used to be um the manila envelopes but now it, the the new mod developer has changed it to these sealed envelopes so i've been looking for the orange ones thinking oh yeah so i could have missed some of these somewhere but i've gone back over a lot of the areas and i'm yet to find any more so i'm hoping i'm hoping for the steelworking magazine in this because if we get that then we're we're, we're really really good we still need battery textbook and whatnot but at least we should in fact before i go any further do we have magnets we do have magnets we do have magnets yeah so the only thing we're missing for the large junkyard would be the steel working just to make the pole and the eye beams yeah, the girders, whatever you want to call them. Right, okay, so... Oh, it's hoping that something actually happens with this. Come on. Metalworking monthly tools, metalworking monthly pipes. Oh, metalworking monthly steelworkers! Mm. Oh my god! I don't even know what to say about that one. That is... Oh, tools. We can make tools. We can make a hammer. We can make a saw. We can make a lumber saw. We can make a hand drill. Yes. We can make screws. We can make a giggly saw handle. And a pickaxe. Awesome. Pipes. We can actually make pipes. Oh, we don't have to worry about pipes anymore. That's fantastic. And then steel workers make steel beam, make steel pole. My God. I I was scared 
to do this, I thought I wasn't going to get anything. I thought it was just going to be like you get, you get a letter or something like that. Um, and we got a naughty magazine and herbal herbalist, right? The adult magazine. I'm going to keep hold of that. In uh, yeah, as a memory of that <laughs> that moment. Oh my god. Did... Wait. Wait, have I just put them in there and not read them in my haste? I don't know if I have. I'm cracking up. Did did I read them? <laughs> did I read them? Did I even read them? I don't know. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Where are we? Uh, metal working. Already read. Already read. Already read. Right. Oh, thank goodness for that. Oh, my days. We can get a step closer to Steam Charger with that. That is fantastic. Oh, Oh, so that means now that um, we need battery textbook. We do. We need battery textbook. And what is it when you replace a light, the light bulbs just last about two minutes? Why is that? This is why a character has to carry it around, light bulbs. Because it's that bad. Forever doing it. Is that, that one's still on, yeah? Yeah. Cool. What about you? Are you off? No, you're on. Sometimes I can't tell. There we go. Right. Uh, do you? No, you need a light bulb. Of course you need a light bulb. There we go. Right. On another note, I have stopped growing cotton for the moment. I'm doing banana trees and turning them straight into compost. So I've only done 38. I've only had one of the older lot, but the new, the new crops are in. They shouldn't take long. Also as well, it's a bit more... Uh, idiot proof for me because I'm stupid as you know and if these mature fully they don't die and disappear so I don't lose my seeds they just restart the cycle which is which is fantastic I absolutely love it then also in here I've started moving things here there and everywhere I, I want to make this medical I think um and get the lab and stuff in here so we can do like ammo production and everything. I think it makes sense to have like a cleaner room to do that sort of thing in. So I've got that. Up here is very dark. I do need some lighting. Are you not working? You need a light bulb. Of course you need a light bulb. Everything needs a light bulb. Right, there we go. Turn you on. Are you in power range? I don't know. I'd oh, you need a light bulb. That's why. You are in power range. Wonderful. As you can tell up here now, it's starting to look a little bit more like home for me. We've got all our stuffed animals playing backgam backgammon for money over here. Uh, <laughs> we've got Destin, we've got Mr. Worldwide, and we've got Diesel over here. Then we've got our other doggos, which I've found. i just placed them there. We've got our own personal computer, jukebox, some emergency water. We've got an emergency oven and an electric oven. We've got water plumbed in, and we've got our very own bar filled with all our booze. So, yeah, things are actually getting sorted. Also, as well, I got mannequins. So, yeah, started putting some funky clothing on them. Got the hockey mask and our furry ears with our white jacket there. Got the full fireman outfit. Got a summer hat. Obviously, you know, if you've watched my older series, you know how, how much I respect the summer hat for it saving me. And then we got white cowboy hat and they've all got glasses on as well i think but yeah right let's uh let's put this oh it doesn't have a place option i wanted to put it on the table ah right okay destin will you watch this for me just don't be looking at it okay you're too young for this sort of content okay also got an exercise machine thing it doesn't really do anything i think it's just there for show but got that because let me have a look on the map let me have a look right i've been to the adult um learning center there thinking that there might be something no junk i went to the closed store next door which i should tick off as well i went to here the the elementary school that was pretty decent there was a hell of a lot of batteries in those desks very very good very very cool um, and then basically I just, I ran back down, ran along. Um, I caused a bit of commotion there though. There's about 40, 50 zombies there. So not very good. Kind of difficult when you're running back with a forklift full of batteries. But anyway, I did it, got back, etc. 
dumped all that on the floor. Then I've come back out, come down this way, gone to this lockup. Uh, there's two more generators outside there. I've brought one back, but there's two more. So we've got that. We've got all the, the mannequins and the fitness contraption from within there as well. It was very quiet. I mean, stupidly quiet. There were There was five zombies outside and about five inside. That was it. I don't understand why that place was so quiet. And also, the, the perimeter for it, didn't it used to be the tall fence all the way around? Because it was only the little fence. I don't know if I'm misremembering it or they've changed it or whatever, but yeah, that, that was easy done. Then these three officers here, same thing, same as the school, just lots of batteries. That's where I got all the envelopes in here. So if you need envelopes, look in that location. Also, I've got majority of the books there. So very, very good for knowledge. Then we've got the the two warehouses here, which are hit up. And they had the, the majority of the things that are in the forklift at the moment. So the augers and everything like that. Just speed down here. Let's have a look. Let's go back through exactly what I found because I, I forget exactly what I got. Right. Yeah, so the glue sticks and the glue and the empty plastic bottles and the calculators and batteries and stuff, they mainly come from the offices. Then we've got empty stuff from the bins. We've got some bits of zombie loot, some cleaning stuff just in case I needed it. I started picking up door hinges as well, but there's kind of no, not much point now. Then from the warehouses, there wasn't a great deal. There were three IBCs, which is nice. Eight empty buckets, two canteens again, which is nice. Another sledgehammer and three augers and then the three that we found from searching. Right, okay, so what we want to do now is we want to plan out the new mines, don't we? We need to get the uh the 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 stone working, coal working, and iron working book, isn't it? I think. Yeah. Here we go. Plan coal mines. So it's geology, stone working, coal working, iron working, stone working, geology. Right. And a measuring tape. Ah. Okay. So we want two sheets of paper as well in order to do that. So we might as well get that done right now. And if I go over to the carpentry thing, there should be a tape measure. There might be one in that loo as well. I don't know. Right, so over here, first thing, we want one and two. There we go. Then we want geology, stone working. So geology, uh, geology, iron working, coal working, and stone working, don't we? Call working and then scrolly, 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 scrolly. Where are we? Stone working. There we go. Pull all those over. All four of those. Lovely. Then we need tape measure. Oh, I can't. I can't believe we've got those books. That oh, that's just stupid. Right. Let's pull that auger into my backpack. Then. On tape measure. Getting rather rather heavy. Let's let's pause, have a look in here for a tape measure. I'm just looking at the icons as I scroll down. There we go, there's one. Right, grab one of those. There we go. Now how is it that we plan it out? What do we need? We need mine hole with pulleys, so we need to actually be at the mine. Okay, that's not a problem. I don't think it uses the thing. Or at least it didn't in the past. I'm hoping it doesn't now. Right, let's drop that off into there. There we go. Alleviate a little bit of weight. Let's get some scran in his face. Eat that. There we go. Abusing the character again. Just not looking at Moodle. It's not caring. <laughs> uh, right. Okay. So plan. Coal mine. There we go. Plan. Iron mine. There we go. Expand mine to coal mine. Unread. Expand mine to iron mine. Unread. But we have them now. Awesome. Right. Read you. And read you. Okay. So now we can make two new mines. We need to do a little bit of uh, wood cutting and whatnot, I believe, in order to do that. But now we should 
be able to just make a mine. If I can pull pull these onto the floor, it might be easier because we're going to need them. Right. So we go right click onto you and craft a helper. So we can expand mine to iron mines. So we need an auger, four beams, and a pickaxe, and a mine hole with a pulley. Oh gosh, we've got to fully expand the mine in order to turn it into the thing. So you need two augers each. <gasps> oh no. So to dig a mine, we need a wooden ladder, a thick rope, and three wood stakes. And an auger, a stone quarry. Either, either. So yeah, you can use your quarry, get all your stuff out, and then turn it into a mine later on, which is probably what I should have done, because I could have got a bunch of... Uh, I could have got my stone wheels and clay and stuff first and then turned it into that, but hey-ho, it doesn't matter really, does it? Um, right. We could go back to the old base and use this at the old base to turn it into one of the other mines. And then bring it down here. We could make it into a coal one and bring it down here. And we could have them, say, there and there. Iron and coal next to each other. Or we get them here. And just have the three in a line. I don't know. I might move this. Because once this storage gets changed to the underground storage, this can go on the back wall or in the corner. Hmm. 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 Right. So what is it that we need to expand it? It was wooden beams, wasn't it? So if I come back over here again and I grab one of those like so, put it in the backpack. Yeah, I think the best bet is to go to the old base, get the thing and bring it back over here and do it that way. But we are very, very tired again. Oh, sh I should have slept. I really should have slept, but never mind. Just trying to get stuff done. Trying to get stuff done. This is what it's all about. Just brutalizing the character like this. Just to get little gains. It's going to be worth it, like, obviously, if we can get coal constantly going now, then I can fill up all of the antique ovens and stuff like that. We can have enough coke to make as much steel as we like then we get the iron mine going and that's pretty much it then isn't it right so measuring tape probably could do with keeping that in doggo so we'll do that so to expand to coal mine we need four wood beams and a pickaxe and then the mine with pulley which we have the mine with the pulley up at the other base i'm sure we do yeah no no, we don't. I upgraded it to pulley and moved it down here, didn't I? Oh, beef, you're an idiot. <laughs> okay, so to dig a mine, we will need a wooden ladder, won't we? Yeah, so we've got a thick rope. We need a wooden ladder and some wooden stakes. So is it sturdy sticks to make wooden stakes? Uh, Where are we? No, no, it's not. Okay. We've got some normal stakes, but not wooden stakes. Doesn't look as if we've got anything unpacked either. Right, so unpack all of those. There we go. And it's got to be planks then, hasn't it? It's either planks or tree branches. I forget. I forget. Let's persevere with this lag. Let's have a quick beverage. Ah, here we go. It is planks. Right, okay, let's do this. What's it using to do it? So, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. That'll do for now, I think. Twelve stakes should be enough to get us glowing. So, let's just stick them anywhere. Okay, next is wooden ladder. Uh, big lag. And here we go, wooden ladder. Right, it's two wood beams, six planks, six nails. I'm going to make five of them. I'm going to make a bunch of them up now because we're going to need them in the future because we need to dig mines in order to make wells. We need wells to make the water pumps. We need wells to make into cellars, I believe. Unless they've changed that. And my God, this is laggy as all sin. But hey-ho.
Ah, there we go. Right. Severe damage, of course. But never mind. We will survive. Right. Okay. So it was going to start using my kitchen knife in order to make those wooden stakes. So I'm glad I stopped when I did. But we should. Uh, where are we? Go off you, please. Go off you, please. Please. There we go. Uh, we should be able to dig a mine. Yep. So we can do that. There we go. Then I need to upgrade the mine with two punching bag stands and a pulley. So punching bag stands we can do inside. Then to construct a cellar, we need four pallets of stones, wooden bucket with concrete, a lumber stack, a steel rod. A steel rod, really? Okay, and two door hinges. Ah, ha, ha, there we go. That's a good use for our uh, hinges that we've been collecting. Then to make a well, we need three pallets of stones, concrete, three planks. Wonderful. Okay, so I really should move these pallets over here somewhere. There we go. Then unpack all of them. Like so. Bang those on the floor. And unpack one of those. And two of those. And three of those. There we go. Right. Put that into there. Then it's wooden block. Here it is. Make. Where is it? Wooden wheel. Wooden... No, I shouldn't have opened that here. Oh, I'll keep doing it. Is it bow drill and glue? Empty glues, seven. We've got seven wood glues here. Is the bow drills empty? Uh, wait. Bow drills, are you empty? No, I've got a full one here. Wooden wheel, haha, -ha. there we go. Wooden wheel, there we go, lovely. And is that in my inventory? Yes, it is. Then right click you, make wood pulley. There we go. And can I make another wood wheel? Yes, I can, because I need two pulleys. Make. Oh, what am I missing for pulley? I know this is dangerous doing it like this, but hey ho. Uh, of course. Sturdy sticks. Always sturdy sticks. Right, close down now, please. Thank you. Right. Then we need to make some sturdy sticks. Again, big lags in this area. So much lag. But yeah, that's the problem with the woodworking side of it. You just got to click and then just don't press anything else. Just wait. Okay, sturdy sticks let's make a bunch of those i'll do there we go drop all those on the floor turn this one again into a wood pulley there we go then let's where are we grab one of those and let's just craft a helper to dig the mine, we need three stakes and a thick rope. So we want one of those. Then where are the stakes? Grab one, two, and three. There we go. And we take all this inside with our mine hole. Because we can now make four punching bag stands. And dig another mine, so then we can turn one into iron and one into coal. This isn't actually being too bad. Right, so now then dig mine, like so. There we go, so now we have two mines. So we can put one here. Please, thank you. Then we want one next to it. Let's grab that, there we go. Come up over here. Stand here. Drop that one, like so. Then we've got two wood pulleys, which we can use here. Then to upgrade this, we need a wooden bucket, two thick ropes. Okay, so we need four thick ropes and two buckets. 
There's two buckets here on the floor. So they can do. Put that in the dugout. And we might as well have a quick sleep whilst we're over here. I think we definitely need it. I'm sick of not being able to run. That's my problem. I run everywhere all the time in this game. Everywhere all the time. All right, quick sleep. There we go. Oh, the bananas are coming in. Oh, wow. Are they all coming in at the same time? Yes, they are. They're nearly done. They are done, right? Might as well just harvest these quickly, right? Harvest all of these. Boom, 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 boom. But it puts them all on one spot once it's done, which is the great thing about it. This is crushing me to death. This is just busy work around the base. But it needs to be done. And honestly, it gets rid of the bananas. I'm not going to eat 400 and odd bananas in the time it takes for them to grow more. So turning it all into compost, best way to go about it. Just need to dig a cellar for this as well. Um, these need to be in a corner at the bottom somewhere, so I think here is probably nice if I do put a cellar, say, there. It would make my life easier. And then it's just the seeds. Probably need a bin for them, so I don't think we're going to need that many seeds. Also, I might get rid of this door. Ah, canteens are out. Canteens are out. Oh, no. Right. Let's have a quick drink. Fill that up. There we go. Uh, we want some thick ropes, don't we? We want four of them at least. So if I come over here, grab all of those. Four exactly. Wonderful. Then I want to grab a couple more. So let's grab, grab half of those. Then we want to come over here. Uh, we've got 11 wooden pallets. Yeah, that should be ample. I want to take these in for making pallets of stones because... We need those for wells and whatnot, but that's probably not going to happen this episode, so I can get that all ready and whatnot for later. Right. Bob those down there. There we go. And want to bob you down there as well, because it's in, uh, in vicinity of our mine holes, so we can upgrade them, etc. Then want to just refresh my memory on how to make a punching bag stand. Probably best not to stand in that hell that is there. That is so bad. If I opened this, that would have completely crashed the game. So we want to be in the box, please. And punching. Filter all. Weld punching bag stands. So it's steel pipes and metal sheet. Steel pipes, metal sheet. So... If I come over here, do we have steel pipes? Yes, we do. Right. Weld punching bag stand. All 25. Jesus, we can do a few then, yeah? Right. One, two, three. All right. That's actually done pretty decently. Weld one more. There we go. Get you in there. Get you in there. Like so. Are you in there? Then on the floor, we've got those three and that one. Boom, there we go. Let's take a little trip back over here. And we want to stand like here, maybe, I'm guessing. And we can... Uh, can we not? Craft a helper? Upgrade mine? Thick ropes. Why? Oh, I wasn't quite in range. Great. <laughs> right upgrade mine both of them please boom boom there we go so i can pick those up again reorientate them like one there no that's really bad want you here that'll do yeah then I grab you next to it like so. Then to upgrade it to coal mine or iron mine, it's four beams, an auger, and a pickaxe. Okay. 
I'm curious, does it use the pickaxe, though? I mean, it's fair to us if it does, because now we can make them. So we want eight beams and two augers. And we will have infinite iron and infinite coal. And we actually have enough for that. Wow. And we even have one auger to spare. That is... Oh, that is fantastic. Right. So over here, how many beams do I have? Probably not very many left. We've got two. So we want another six, really. I can unpack all those logs. Unpack all of those. Chuck all that on the floor welding thingy back in there and we want to where are we saw book want to make wood beams make all those into beams there we go grab as many as i can and not forget to put our sawdust in our sawdust 4170 logs processed wow 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 okay in we go in we go back over Last stretch now, thank goodness. Okay, I'm probably going to have to reposition these again, aren't I? Right, craft a helper. Expand to iron mine. Auger, shovel, mine. Okay, so we need two augers. And we are done. So, oh, we've got five. Whatever, right, that won't go in there. It won't go in my inventory either. Okay. Okay, understandably, I'm carrying around 10 wood beams. A little bit on the heavy side there. But either way, let's grab two of those, put those in baggy bag. There we go. And back over here, and we want to make one into iron and one into copper, uh, into coal, sorry. Right, expand to iron mine, one. There we go. Expand to coal mine, one. There we go. So iron mine, pick you up. Coal mine won't be able to pick it up. Right, let's stick, just pop the iron mine here so I can reposition the coal one better. Right, coal mine over here. And I want it here, really. I want it near the bin, but not near the bin. So if I anchor that now, there we go. That's bang on where I want it to be. That's fantastic. Then iron mine and drop you down again. Then anchor you. There we go. Wonderful. Now, did that use the pickaxe? No. It didn't use the pickaxe. That's great. So now I can mine coal. Just straight up mine coal. Like that. Boom. Coal. Then I can take this coal, hopefully, outside now. And if I right click this, add fuel. Coal. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. This means now steel is go. Steel is a go. A big go. Right. Oh, that's so good. That is so good. Yes. Right. Okay. I'm a happy beef. Very happy beef. We've got plenty of augers. I can't believe we've got the steel working thing. So I can actually start getting all the steel and all the iron together to make another steam machine. We can maybe get a steam charger next episode. But I think we're going to work probably on storage and infinite water next episode. But yeah, that's going to be it for me. Hope you have enjoyed this one. Don't forget to take care of yourselves. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye. Oh, beef. I know you're happy. That that roll with the envelopes was just absolutely outstanding. But you're forgetting the fact that you have to mine the stuff. You don't just instantly get it. The joys, eh? Goodbye.